Desert flora, more than just cacti. When you think of deserts, you might imagine a barren landscape, hostile and devoid of life. But the truth is, deserts have their own unique tapestry woven with a variety of fascinating plants. These plants have evolved some pretty inventive stratagems to survive in the harsh conditions of extreme aridity, intense heat, and limited water resources. First off, you have the iconic cacti. These are the poster children of desert vegetation. You've got the famous saguaro cactus standing like a sentinel with its arms stretching towards the heavens. These giants can tower up to 60 feet and live for up to 200 years. They're like the skyscrapers of the desert world, often studded with holes made by woodpeckers looking to escape the sun's searing rays. Then there's the Joshua tree, which isn't actually a tree. It's a species of yucca, but it has a tree-like appearance and spikes that look straight out of an alien planet. These hardy plants can survive in the Mojave Desert, which says a lot about their resilience. Don't overlook the creosote bush, with its small, waxy leaves designed to retain water. After rainfall, they give off a unique smell, a mixture of musky rain and potent resin. It's the signature scent of the desert, one that sticks with you. And who can forget the humble desert sage? This isn't the sage you sprinkle on your Thanksgiving turkey. It's a tough plant with soft, silvery leaves and an enchantment for blazing sun and scant rainfall. When it blooms, it's as if the desert decides to throw a full-on purple party. Of course, there's more to deserts than just these stars of the show. You've got the aloe vera, armed with its fleshy, water-storing leaves and renowned for more than its soothing gel. You can find the bright yellow pops of brittle bush flowers, or the delicate pink of the ponderous desert willow. Living here in Portland, Oregon, I often miss the stark beauty and varied plant life of the desert landscapes, something that folks down in Arizona or New Mexico get to enjoy daily. Next time I find myself out in the sandy vastness, you better believe I'll be taking a moment to appreciate the tough and tenacious plants of the desert. They're not just survivors, they're master adapters, turning an unforgiving environment into a place of stark beauty. Whether you're trekking through the Sonoran or admiring the austere grace of the Atacama from afar, let's give it up for these rugged photosynthesizers. They're the true oases in the ocean of sand. And you might actually find the parallels between life in the scorching desert sands and the bustling world of Portland pretty fascinating. The resilience, the adaptation, the survival, it's all there just in a different context.